Funny Cave. Six mysterious photos that should not exist. Number six, Vacation Party Ghost. Austria, 1988. A group of vacationers gathered for a farewell party at their hotel and sat down to take a photo. One of the men, Mr. Todd, set up his Canon film camera on a nearby table and pointed it at the group. He set the self-timer on the camera and hurried back to the table. The shutter clicked, but the flash didn't go off. So Todd set the camera up for a second shot. This time, the flash worked. When the film was developed, the first photo, which didn't have the flash, showed a blurry, ghostly woman's face. No one in the group recognized the woman. The second photo where the flash worked shows no ghost. The photo was examined by the Royal Photographic Society of Leicester University, who ruled out double exposure as the cause. Number 5. The Modern Time Traveler This was taken in Goldbridge, British Columbia, Canada, 1941. This photograph of the reopening of the South Fork Bridge has been deemed to be authentic, and it shows a man looking very modern and standing out from the rest of the crowd. He wears clothing and sunglasses that don't seem to be from the 1940s. He's also got a more advanced camera than the other camera shown in the photo. Number 4. The Falcon Lake Incident Stefan Mikulak claimed to have an encounter with an unidentified flying object near Falcon Lake, Manitoba, Canada on May 20th, 1967. Mikulak was vacationing in Whiteshell Provincial Park near Falcon Lake when he spotted two cigar-shaped objects descending, one of which landed near him. He then saw a door open and heard voices from inside one of the objects. He tried to make contact in English and other languages but got no response. Mikulak claims to have burnt his hand while attempting to examine colorful glass found around the object. In the photo, you can see the burns from a grid-like exhaust vent that expelled gas that also burned his clothing. Number 3. Freddie Jackson's Ghost This photo, taken at a training facility in England, is a group picture of Victor Goddard's squadron, which served in World War I. A ghostly face shows up in the photo in the top row, fourth from the left. It is said to be the face of Freddie Jackson, an air mechanic who'd been accidentally killed by an airplane propeller two days previous to the photo. His funeral had actually taken place on the day this photo was taken. Members of the squadron easily identified the face as Jackson's. Some have suggested Jackson, unaware of his death, decided to show up for the group photo. Number 2. The Solway Firth Astronaut This took place in Solway Firth, England, 1964. Jim Templeton was outside taking photos of his young daughter. After getting the photos developed, he noticed there appeared to be a man in full astronaut gear standing behind his daughter. Except there wasn't anyone around when he was taking the photo. Analysts from Kodak verified that the photo was not tampered with. And number one, the Cooper family photo. Sometime in the 1950s, the Cooper family from Texas sat down for a nice picture with mom, grandma, and the two kids at the dining room table. But when the photo was developed, what looked like a body hanging from the ceiling appeared behind them. And it wasn't there when the father took the photo. And there's still no explanation for the hanging corpse. Thanks for watching and in the comments let me know what you think of these photos. Bye for now.